there you go. We got to stand on British and American soil at the same time. Whoa. What was I saying? I don't know. No, Hi, um, my name is Dylan. Um, I'd just like to introduce myself. <laughs> That, that would go along with what I had said. <laughs> okay, so we did not catch any fish on the boat tour, um, but we saw a lot of cool fish and, well, do dolphins and porpoises, are they the same thing? No. They're not? But what did we see? The guy called them porpoises. I'm pretty sure they were dolphins. Really? Yeah, or according to my knowledge. According to the vet student going to Cornell, they were dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> the flying fish were really cool too. Yeah, I was not expecting flying fish. I don't think any of us realized how much flying fish actually fly. That was kind of cool. But, um, so that was two days ago. And then yesterday we hiked out to Captain Cook. And that was really hard for me, at least. Um, and probably for Samuel because Oliver rode on his back like for the four miles, which was incline all the way, incline down. Yeah, we decline, started at, I guess. we started at 1300 feet and it went to zero and then yeah. back up to 1300 feet, so. Like the whole way, there Over. was no flat area the whole way there. Um, it was pretty, pretty intense. And Dylan carried two backpacks for me. He carried my backpack on top of, on top of his backpack. So, um, and so we did some snorkeling out there. T tell your viewers that I'm taking. <laughs> what? <laughs> your viewers that I'm taking. Oh, Dylan wants <laughs> all everyone to know that he's taken. He's not available. <laughs> um, but we used Dylan's. GoPro to get some really cool footage. So yeah, the the cool thing about Captain Cook is it's one of the few places where you're actually you can stand on British soil and U.S. soil at the same time because the little plot around the obelisk set up for Captain Cook because that's where Captain Cook was killed in that area and it's actually a piece of property owned by the British. Uh, so, there you go. We got to stand on British and American soil at the same time. So we made an international trip of our Hawaii trip. Exactly. Added another country to my my list. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, little, just little Oliver in the back, just chilling in the back. <laughs> He's taken too by me right now. <laughs> um, so yeah. So now we're So now we are on the way to the beach for a short beach day before we do some touristy shopping stuff. Um, because tomorrow's our last full day and then we leave already. It's kind of sad. So. Are you excited, Oliver? Yeah. Yeah? Actually, we have to stop I at Walmart. See first. Ocean. What? I see ocean. You see ocean? Yeah. Where's the ocean? Mama. Yeah. My knee hurts in the water, Mama. Your knee hurts in the water? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that pretty face. <laughs> the voice of the car. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, the road's been okay. I've navigated the road. The stupid speed bumps are oil pan height. It's stupid. We're in the middle of this, I've scraped big one time off the road. Like on the road, I've scraped one time, and I've scraped like three times on a speed bump. Like there, it's, it's crazy. Which why they even have speed bumps on this road that's so bad anyway? Doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, I've taken my Corvette down here and racing it. Not. No fluid lights coming on yet, so I'm not leaking anything too badly, I guess. Ooh. 
Tire pressure's all good. Uncle D's Jeep would be great. That's a fact, Jack. No scrape. No scrape. No scrape. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the I'm... camera doesn't pick up how bad this road really is. Oh, here's a bad one. Got a bad one. Where are they taking? That way? That way? Oh, oh. that's... Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Going here. Yeah. Straddle? Can yeah. we straddle? My dad told us that it was a super nice, sandy, family-friendly beach. And we get here, and this is the first thing we see. And you can see that back there. Yeah. This place is gorgeous. It's like a kind of a lava infinity pool thing going on there. And the whole beach down that way. You ready to swim, Oliver? Yeah, and there's hardly anyone out here, too. It's so nice. Big waves, huh? Hey, Mama. Oh no, it's gonna get my shoes. I got my shoes. legs every time it hits. Oh. Look at those waves out there though, man. Okay, here you go, girl.
you were in fluid was like 10 months ago. <laughs> Oliver, what is that? A hermit crab. A hermit crab, that's right. Look at it go. Ah, <laughs> oh, pinch. Pinch? Pinch. Oh, no, no! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oliver, let's throw him back into the water. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> we get a late night frisbee game in. Get a bit of the sunset. Man, just can't beat the Hawaiian sunsets, let me tell you. It's great. All right, off to the races. What's what? These are ahi. Should we get out? I think, yeah. This ahi, is the ahi. spicy ahi, that's the Hawaiian. Yep. And this is yep. marlin right here. Marlin. So this has more of a mild, a mild flavor. And for the rest of dinner. Ahi. And this is marlin. Oh, so the same as the pokey. Yes. Only professional fish sears use headlights. No headlamps. <laughs> Go ahead and get it right. Turn the lights on, we might actually be able it's, to see um, the food. Bubble milk tea drink. Boba. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. But it tastes more like a tea. Gotcha. Right what do you have for dinner, Oliver? Hey. That looks yeah. yummy. Oh, mom. I'm definitely putting you got me this. 